Hey YouTube, so today I'm coming out with another uh, video for you guys and it's this video is going to be about how to stream your Xbox One through the internet instead of locally. So now I know Xbox, uh, Microsoft released an update to stream your Xbox over your local or your network and you can basically play your video games at any Windows 10 PC. So we're going to do this but instead outside from your house or your home. And yeah, so right now, as you can see, I have my Xbox connected and ready to go. So this is right now locally, but I will show you how to do it uh, through the internet. Now, three things you're gonna need, a uh, Windows 10 capable PC, a uh, router that you can port forward, uh, meaning uh, basically we're gonna let the Xbox One be exposed in the internet, on the internet and you're going to need of course the xbox one so there is like one drawback you're exposing your xbox like i said on the internet so if someone would really wanted to find you he could actually mess around with your xbox i'll say but it, this is just for testing if you want to try it out maybe a couple of days and yeah so it's at your own risk so now we're gonna go uh in the desktop and I'm gonna show you this a couple of steps so this is a long video so try to take breaks in between and if you know what you're doing uh, go ahead and skip I will put uh, instructions in the description so you can just fo follow that instead of uh, watching me in the video and that's it alright so the first step to getting your Xbox uh, one game streaming set up uh, to work through the internet house so the first thing is you're gonna find your IP address so you're just gonna go to, gonna go to start and type in cmd and you're gonna type in ipconfig you can slash all all right don't mind this mine has a lot of uh, virtual network adapters so here we go so you're looking for the first one so you you go all the way to the top and you'll see this is the um, that your network so this is my current IP and this is my subnet mask. So we're just going to need uh, the subnet mask and the default gateway. Usually uh, usually the default gateway and the DNS are the same. So you're going to do that. So now you're going to have different numbers. So don't worry about it. You, all, you need to know, um, all you need to care about right now is the, is the last number. So I mean... Keep, keep in mind these three numbers and here you're gonna set up the Xbox One uh, static IP so I'm gonna stop this video and well I'm gonna stop here and then I'm gonna go to the Xbox right now and, and explain what I'm doing so right now mine is 192 and three and uh, for the Xbox One I'm gonna put 156 and I'll put the subnet mask this right here and the gateway this and the DNS server right here this so yeah so i'm gonna go to the xbox one right now okay so we're now on the xbox and as you can see you just go on your remote and just go to settings and you're gonna see a menu that says preference so right here it says preference you click on it now we're gonna enable uh, the xbox one in streaming Capabilities as you can see I have three checks right here. So allow play to streaming allow broadcast and game captures allow game stream to other devices and From any smart class device. So all of those have to be checked Now we're done with that. So now we're gonna go to the network and we're gonna set up a static IP So this is where the settings come in that I showed you earlier. So you're just gonna go to set up network IP and manual so here, as you can see, it says change IP settings. <clears throat> now, you're, as you can see right there in that photo, uh, you're gonna put the IP address that the first one that came up, you're gonna put the first three. So as you can see, 192, 168, and that three, and that's for me. So don't put the ones I have in that photo, just put the ones that came up with your settings. So as you can see, the last one, I put 156, you're gonna put something else. It could be the same one, or it could be up from 100 and above up to 254. So once you're done with that, we're gonna go to the DNS. You're just gonna hit uh, enter. Now, once you hit enter, you're gonna see the DNS setting. And and this is the subnet mask, that's the same thing. So mine is 255. 
255.255.0 and and you're gonna press enter so it's trying to now the gateway as you can see right there says the full gateway on the command prompt you're gonna put that one so exactly at it's, it's the same number you're gonna put 128168 and that three that one now this is for people that don't, that don't know what they're doing so I'm trying to make it as easy as possible if you know how to do this you can you can do it yourself you don't have to follow this you can skip ahead and the DNS so it's the DNS should be not always but it's always the default gateway so you'll just put 182.168.3 that um one and secondary you don't really have to put anything but here you can um, verify if all the settings are correct and as you can see the IP address I left uh, 156 the only different number and that's pretty much it so you just go back back and to the home screen and right here so it's all good your console is connected to the internet now we're done here I'm gonna go back to the one all right, the Xbox is ready, so those were the only settings you need to change there. So I'm just gonna close this. You're not gonna need this. Uh, just keep in mind the default gateway. That's um, that's how you're gonna get into a router. So if you're if you have a different number, you use that number. I'm gonna use uh, this number. So I'm just gonna close this and just gonna open up, uh, open Chrome. So I'm just gonna go two hundred sixty eight, not three. All right, so we're gonna port forward right now. So it's port forwarding is gonna allow us to uh, make the Xbox One streaming accessible through the internet. And yeah, so right now we're just gonna port forward and we're gonna go. Usually it's in WAN. Uh, every router is different. Uh, if you're you're able to log in, uh, my password my password is saved already, so I don't I need I don't need to log in, but it usually asks you for a password. Uh, usually it's admin admin or admin password. So try any of those admin and then the password is password and yeah so when and you're gonna go to virtual server port forwarding so anything that says virtual server port forwarding it's what you're looking for and I'm just gonna go back so now ignore all of these ports up to the last three so right here uh, Xbox stream 2 Xbox stream 1 and test now you're gonna port forward these ports so if you know how to port forward, fine. So just copy the sports down and port forward it. You brought, you can skip the video. I mean, a little more. So the ports are 4838, 5050, and 49002. This is a range, 65500. So it's a big range of ports opened up. Now the local port, you really don't need this, but that's fine. For protocol, you're just gonna use both. Uh, usually routers allow you to use um, both or either separate TCP or UDP, but just use both. Um, that's pretty much it. You're just gonna apply it. So I'm just gonna. It's, mine's already set up, so that's pretty much it. So if you're done forwarding, great. Now, if you don't know how to port forward, I recommend you to look up your router. So you just go on Google and type in, uh, like mine's Asus, so I'll, I'll type in ISIS T. Asus TM AC 1900 and port forwarding. And it usually, uh, there's a bunch of guides. Or go to portforward.com and they'll show you how to port forward. All right. So we're done. We're done port forwarding, and now we're going to set up a way to find our external IP. So basically, whatever uh, your cable or your DSL provider gives you so you know how we all we all get a, a dynamic IP so right here as you can see this is one IP now we're gonna use this IP right here to connect to the Xbox one and we need the way well the trick to, to this right now will be to set up a DNS client on a computer in your house that's always on so we're just gonna help you know what's the Xbox one's um, IP address now i recommend you to use no ip so it's a free service it gives you a free domain uh, three free dns the domain names is, I, uh, I guess you could i guess you can say so you're just gonna go create an account it's free and you're just gonna hit 
at host and here as you can see you can write whatever you want so, so something that's not taken so you can just put I mean anything you want so basically it's gonna be um, test stream let's put 23 and just gonna put uh, just leave this alone if you want you can either pick one of these three so and it should give you the IP already so just scroll all the way down and hit uh, add host I already have a host so I'm just gonna go to manage host and I'm just gonna see the ones I have so here are the testing ones so I'm using I'm gonna test with the 77z so basically it's gonna if we ping uh, if we ping the 77z it's gonna give my, out this IP right here so if you're outside of your network and you want to know your IP address of your house this is one way you can log into no IP and you'll know your IP and to do this you're gonna download the client so here's the dynamic DNS update client and it's for Windows so you're just gonna hit download now as you can see I already downloaded it and you're just gonna install it I already installed it so I need to do that and you're gonna log in so right here it's giving out my account number and phone and all that and it's giving out my IP so let's say this is a computer that's going to be on all day and just for you guys for you to log in and do your xbox so you're going to go to once again cmd and you're just going to ping the host you created so let's say let's say we were outside of your network you're in your friend's house you're just going to ping so mine was 77z at ddns.net all right, so it's gonna give me a, it's giving it's giving me an error because I'm trying to ping myself from the house, so my router is a little weird with that. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna connect to a VPN and we're gonna try that again. So I'm connecting to just this is just for testing purposes. Let's see if, uh, if okay, great, it's connected. So if I try to ping again, as you can see here, it gave out my IP. So with this IP now i can open the the xbox app and try to go in i'm just gonna stop this from timing out let's see all right so now i'm just gonna go to the, the xbox app and we're, we're gonna use that ip and i'm testing right now because i'm connected to a virtual private network so I have an IP from, I, I believe it's from London or UK. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna try to, I'm trying to test out and log in. Now here you should connect your Xbox remote uh, via USB. So I'm going to that now. And, and you're gonna go to your Xbox right here. It says connected, but it's not really connected. Now we're just gonna hit the plus sign and we're gonna add the Xbox. So it's seven. Well, mine is, I'm not gonna, I was about to give up my IP. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put my IP from the ping. Just gonna, I'll give, I'll give out the last, last, just last two. And here you're just gonna connect and stream and as you can see it's connecting right now all right so great i'm connected to the internet right now so this is uh me using this is a scenario i'm using it basically let's say i'm in europe and my xbox is on here in the united states and yeah i'm, I'm basically as you can see i'm, I'm online right now and that's pretty much it for now. What's great with the streaming, you can, uh, if it's slow right now, as you could, if you know it lags a little, if it's lagging for you and you don't care much about the quality, just go, you can go to here and just lower the, the streaming quality. I'm gonna put medium, it'll probably be a little faster now. So, right now, I'm seeing what's on my Xbox. There we go. So, it's still not bad. You can play a game if you wanted to. Um, 
I'll show you right now how it looks through my camera. So you'll see me with the remote and, and everything right now playing. So let me go. All right guys, so I'm gonna end the video with uh, doing a quick test and see if the game runs and it streams. Now I'm gonna go to my VPN and I am going to connect to UK London. I'm just gonna wait until this turns green. And we should do that. We should open the Xbox app at the same time. So, you know, VPN is gonna give me a uh, IP that's outside of my network, if you didn't know that. And I'm gonna use my ISP um, IP. So this this is uh, locally, so I'm just gonna add. And I'm gonna put my IP. And hit connect. Great, so right now I connected, and I'm just gonna hit stream. So guys, there you have it. And I'm connected right now to my Xbox One. As you can see, everything's working. And there's a little stuttering, lagging, but it's it's going through a VPN, so I'm just gonna go to medium and see if that'll fix it. There we go. And that's pretty much it. So as you can see, it's working and yeah. And start a quick game. So as you can see right now, I'm streaming through the internet and not through my local area network. If if I wanted to, I can actually uh, let's see if I can show my where I'm connected to. So if I put what is my IP on Google. It's giving me a totally different IP. This is from it's from the UK. It's telling me, um, yeah, but that's not my IP. That's something else. So it is working, and as you can see, if I resume, it should be on the game. And there you have it. So guys, if you made it to the end of the video, let me know and see it. See if it works out for you. If you have any questions, just comment. And as you can see, right there's my IP. It says streaming. That's my home IP. So it's a little laggy, but maybe you'll get a different result. I'm just going to go on low. And yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. And see you.